Run it 50, play. Cut 52. You better break. You better break. I'm letting you know right now. You better break. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab, get closer, and smother it, just as they did on that last play? Now second and seven from the 23. Here's a second and seven. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Seven yards there and a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen. Tim. Tyler Lockett, touchdown, Carolina. Tyler Lockett. 70 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then it's a wide receiver. Great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and ten. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Mike 54. Tackles, tackles. Check. On second down, Michelle. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. Shift, shift. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Now Haskins on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daniil Hunter getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Another try after the first down sack. Haskins. And the pressure gets to him again. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Haskins will throw. Man open. 
open. That's Kiki QT complete. 19 yards is the pick up there, but even with that, they're well short. It's fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Possession's going to go over with a football at the 20 yard line. Now, the man from nearby Baton Rouge, it's the LSU star Darius Geis. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. They'll try to run it. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Here's second and eight. And he's got it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina from eight yards out. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 12 yards there. Good for a Saints first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. That's it, baby. He was taken down by Ruben Foster. 
It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 37 yard line. Set, cut! On second and seven, Haskins. And he finds Corey Davis. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's a game of eight. That's another Saints first down. First down ten at the 45 yard line. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Second and 12 at the 42-yard line. Second and 12, Haskins. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A game of a yard makes it third and 11. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Third down, here's Haskins. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Returnable for Lockett. Fights loose. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how have we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Hey, Charlie. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Credit the sack to Von Miller. They're going to look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll set up a throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. 
but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Check three, check three. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creeping. Safety's creeping. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We got double up. Double up. They'll run on first down. Michelle. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Second and three. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. Oh, man, partner, this is something cornerbacks love to do, and that's outthink a quarterback. If you get a sense that they're going to throw a quick out route or a quick hitch, you can just lay back an extra yard or two, but then really put your foot in the turf and drive on the football. And here I think he baited the quarterback into the throw and made it pay off. Right here, right here. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Go, go. 54, watch 54. You're trapped. You're trapped. Hey. Mike's 54. Mike's 54. Hey, look, yo. We taking wins home. They'll try to get this offense going with Michelle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. At the 32 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Set go. Looking to throw on second down. Haskins dancing to his left. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Second and six. Being chased out left. Over the middle complete. It's Fleming. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. 
No gain on the screen there. It's second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Von Miller able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A big play there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Many times the mindset of a play caller after a quarterback's thrown an interception on the previous drive is to come right back and give them a throw to get their confidence back. Give them something easy, get a completion, kind of get them settled again. Instead, this ball was tipped in the air and almost turned into an interception. Offense trying to make a big play, defense trying to make a big play, turned into an incompletion. So now maybe they can back off a little bit, try to relax him, and get him something that'll work. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. This time, Haskins will look to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to QT. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Now it's Haskins. He's going to look deep down the, into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Check 50, check 50. On second down, Eckler. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. They'll look to throw. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. Breaks through the contact. Well, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one.
On first down, Michelle. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Second and goal from inside the five. SOS. 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 Yeah, yeah. I got motion. Check, check. 59. 59. You ain't good. On the ground, this is Michelle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position, now facing third down. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. On third and goal, Haskins. This is caught. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. safe to say they can mark this down is extremely frustrating here we are in the fourth quarter and that last play that turnover i think it epitomizes what happened to them all the day on offense so symbolic and that's why they're still being shut out they start on the ground with geis and an alley to run defenders giving chase but i don't think they're gonna get there touchdown carolina Darius Geis, 98 yards. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Under 10, under 10, 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to make it third down and 10. It's now third and 10. Check the outs. Check From the gun, Haskins on third down. Nowhere to his 
escape, and he goes down. Daniil Hunter able to record his fifth sack of the season. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now it's Lockett. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. At their own 46 yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, we just don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Draw play, it's Eckler. Able to push forward for about four down to the 37. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. They'll look to throw here. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. That catch good for only a yard and it'll be third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Saints on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Now Haskins got a man. It's Brown. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Fourth down, here's Haskins. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. On first down, it's Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Zach Cunningham. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Coming to you, coming to you. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now Haskins to throw on second down to Michelle on the screen. And they work the 
fires well upfield across the 45. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Gets him right to the midfield stripe. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. From midfield now, Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. What can they do here on fourth down? Now it's Haskins. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout. So it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. But the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like.